Saw 14 coming at you with an airsoft sniper loadout. This is what I use on the battlefield when I am sniping. Uh, my rifle of choice is the UTG Master Sniper Rifle Generation 5. This gun shoots about 450 FPS and is very durable and blends in with any force train. My secondary weapon is the Echo 1 SG2 MP5. Uh, this gun is great because I can, if I'm being overrun, I can pull it out real fast and it shoots 300 FPS. So I, can I have a pretty good long range with this, but I also have a short range because it's small. Small and compact. Uh, this gun I usually use for CQB as well. And it's just a great gun as a secondary weapon. Alright. My emergency weapon is just a little gun. Little spring pistol. Um, I've never really used this gun. I usually tend to stay far away from the action and I like to stay away so I can snipe in peace. I usually have a spotter with me so I really don't have to worry about much. Um, I probably only use this gun once because I only use this gun when I run out of ammo for my secondary and primary weapons, which I rarely do because I always carry extra ammo on me. Alright. The pants I wear are just in army green pants. They're very loose fitting, so if I get shot, it doesn't hurt as bad. And they blend in with pretty much any force trains along with the gun. The vest I use is a force train vest that I purchased from ebike.com for about $40. It has a holster, three, three magazine pouches. Um, it actually has also three, you know, AG magazine holsters along with this one on the very side. It has shotgun shell holders, eyeglass case. Um, it also comes with a radio or cell phone holder. And on the inside, it has a, another pouch for storing whatever you want. Alright, the other part about this thing is that it came with little holsters on the side for your little magazines for the pistol. But I, tend, I just took them off because they were just getting obnoxious and in my way. So I take, usually just take them off, they're unnecessary, I didn't really need them. Also, the reason why I wear these protection glasses that are tinted is because these ones are a lot less bulky than my traditional mask that I tend to use. Because when you're looking down the scope, you're looking at, towards it, this part all along here tends to get in the way and you're less accurate and you start to hit it back and forth and it unstabilizes you. With these, I can hug up against the, the cheek guard and I can look straight down the scope and I'll be fine and I usually hit what I'm aiming at most of the time, probably 99% of the time. And that's why for all snipers I recommend just regular safety glasses, nothing special. Alright, this has been Airsoft Sniper Loadout from Epic Airsoft 14. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.